Carolyn? Jimmy, you really never impressed me. <laughs> Live from New York, it's Saturday night! Y'all know Carolyn. Carolyn captures Donald Trump's famous executive vice president. And the Donald straight shooter gives you her secrets to success in her new book, Carolyn 101. Found an opportunity, and I knew where I wanted to go. Failure was not an option, and I just persisted. Please welcome Carolyn Ketcher. His wife came up to me and said, oh, you look very familiar. And the person she was with said, that's the girl from The Apprentice. That's the girl from The Apprentice. She goes, you're that bitch on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I suppose that's me. Thank you. If you saw Donald cheat on his fiance, would you tell? That is the dumbest question I've ever <laughs> Put the hair jokes aside. That's the dumbest. We were hired by a bank to come in and get this property ready for resale. And inevitably, we sold it to Donald Trump. And after we closed on the property, he asked me to sign on with this company. And you hear this a lot, you know, the, no crying in the boardroom. Well, no kidding. But sometimes you do, and sometimes you want to break down, and sometimes you want to just jump over a table and you know, grab someone's neck. If you can compose yourself, what a level of confidence that is. Who's to blame? Jimmy. That lady? <laughs> it's only going to get harder. That's what she said. I interview many, many people for many different positions, but there's something about when somebody walks into the office and you can just there's a click. You can see if this person's going to fit in with the organization, fit in with their team members. I had a job to do and I made sure my numbers were intact, made sure my revenues were high, my expenses were low, and all I could do was just concentrate on my field. I was working at Trump National Golf Club and uh -huh. the phone rang and it's him and he said, I'm doing this reality show, we're starting in two days, can you show up tomorrow for rehearsal? And I went, okay. Don't cross Carolyn. What are they referring to? Well, they're referring to some drama that's going to take place in the boardroom tonight. Why can't you women get along? I mean, this is... It's well, amazing. I mean, my biggest mistake on this job interview Jen, is not... Jen, Jen. Easy. I'm doing everything. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. Sorry, Jen. Why are you doing everything? I mean... I think the ad speaks for itself. I think it's quite boring. Okay. I also decided to wrap horse-drawn carriages, which didn't look so great. And if I was Shania Twain, I'd be embarrassed. You're two for two right now. It's new, it's practical, and the holiday season's coming up. I mean, how many people would purchase this, at least as a gift, okay. right? I think you were asking me more questions about the organization or what I thought, as opposed to what you can do and what you're about. There's times where I will take the day off during the week, because I can't always take the time off during the weekend, and I will pick up Connor at school and we'll spend the day together, and it's called Connor and Mommy Day. How do you get to the truth? You have to surround yourself with people, like, as an example, Carolyn. Carolyn. I mean, Carolyn runs. <laughs> She's the dumbest star. I'm about to jump out of an airplane. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again